Hey, good morning, Alicia and Keenan. I've got my green on. I've got my mask nearby. We are ready. We are in front of Old Shillelagh here in downtown Detroit this morning. Not opening for a couple hours still. It's opening at 7 o'clock this morning. And owners here, they are hoping that people come out in big numbers and that they also spend big. The entire bar and restaurant industry was essentially dark in Michigan for St. Patrick's Day last year. So today it's a symbolic step, but it's also a test for bars just like this one. Can they have a big celebration and a big pay? out safely while operating at just 50% capacity. Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> Nika Hans and her brother Michael hope today they won't just be wearing green, they'll be making it. Before they resumed 50% capacity earlier this month, business for their downtown Greenwich Time Pub was tricky. As far as carryouts go, if nobody's working down here, we're not really generating any revenue. They, of course, were closed last year for St. Patty's, but in years prior, folks were standing shoulder to shoulder. Everyone was excited about it, and we would have green beer, and people would come and go all day, and it just can't be like that. PJ Ryder's Corktown staple, PJ's Lager House, sits across from the traditional start of the St. Patrick's parade route canceled for a second year in a row. Today, in addition to having the taps open, PJs will be serving classic corned beef and taking an extra step for safety. 50% would be 75 people, and we can't social distance at 75 people. So I've restricted the number to 50. In a non-pandemic year, PJs is known for its live music, something bar goers expect, especially on St. Patrick's Day. Today will be another test for Ryder's shift to his business overall. We won't be able to do music for a while still, so right now we're pivoting into becoming trying to becoming more of a restaurant than we were before. Michael is banking on people's generosity and good old Irish luck that today even resembles a St. Patrick's Day of the past. I'm expecting that to make in what we've made in previous years, but at this point we will take whatever we can get. Now, something I've noticed downtown, there were decent crowds out and about this past weekend for sort of a pre St. Patrick's Day celebration. So there's a chance that could make crowds this morning and later on today a little bit more manageable. But keep in mind, bars just like Old Shillelagh here, they can only operate at 50% capacity. So if massive crowds do show up, be prepared to wait outside. You heard PJ Ryder say that he's not going to budge on capacity. He's even making it stricter than the state mandate. So if you are heading downtown, this morning or later today, be prepared to wait outside. Again, Old Shillelagh here opens this morning at 7 o'clock. PJ's Lager House opens at 11. We're uh, live this morning in downtown Detroit. Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. I